Good morning. It is December 20th, 2020. I want to talk about Planeteer, Palantir, <laughs> uh, because in the chat, there's people that don't understand what I was telling them about the chart. So I'm going to explain it in detail and tell you why I'm worried and why it doesn't matter what I think. It matters what the chart says. And what really matters is what the big accounts do with the stock. Okay? That's... And also, um, what matters, let's go to SPY here really quick. The overall market is what matters as well, okay? Palantir right now is at a decision point on its chart. SPY... The S&P, okay, is really in what they call Santa Claus Rally. And then we had a shakeout on Friday. The excuse was the government was arguing over the stimulus and all like that. But they didn't break the 20-day, okay? If, if this market breaks the 20-day, um, I wouldn't be in anything personally, and I would wait for the market to come back. So, having said that, let's go back to Palantir. Here's the issue with Palantir. The big investors are hovering at this 20-day right here, right? I put a trend line here. Only at, um, I guess, I feel like this is support back here. This is support. You see how they held the line here? So, <clears throat> if it breaks my trend line, um, it obviously broke support on this green candle back here and this green candle back here. They haven't broke this support, right? So, wh what else am I worried about? Look at your MACD. Down here. You see where my cursor is? This is called a MACD. Uh, you can look it up to find out what your what it actually stands for. Okay? It doesn't matter to me. I know what the MACD does and what it indicates. Back here, your MACD crossed in a negative direction. Your RSI is trending down, which is not always a bad thing, right? When it gets down here to about 35 or whatever, if your volume increases at the same time and you get this uptrend, then that's usually a good indication that you're getting a reversal, let's say, okay? I want to tell you that you don't listen to the noise and listen to the hype and listen to people that are talking hope and they plan on doing this and blah, blah, blah. Palantir is overvalued at this point. Could it change? Could big time money, uh, who knows other stuff about the company, push it up? Yeah, it can happen. It can happen. It could go to 30. It can happen. But it also can drop. You see this candle here? This is a support down here at $18. And sometimes the market has a way of telling new entry guys, especially these guys, you should listen to them talk. That you're playing with the big boys now. And we're going to show you what your stock is really worth. And they can drop this down to 18. In a market correction, I would be afraid 
that they were gonna they would drop this to somewhere around 15. So sure, you love the stock, you love you know. I learned a long time ago never fall in love with a company that's in the stock market, especially, especially new IPOs with arrogant guys that um you know they got a good product sure people still gotta buy the product okay now look at this stock and then go and look at ai if you want to it's up to you what you do with your money this is ai this is also a new entry see the difference between the chart this is called a blue sky breakout this thing went all the way up to $145. The big money guys know more than we do. They move the market. You can hope all you want in, in a stock. And I think it's going to do this. I think it's going to do that. Guess what? You can hope all you want. It's the big money guys that decide what happens to this company. And it's overvalued here. It's overvalued. Now, can they come out with news and new contracts and stuff like that? And then the big guys say, okay, we're going to move you up. Why are we going to move you up? Because we know you're going to go to 40 or something like that. And our money is at good risk. They can easily break the 20-day and drop this thing and short it and leave you holding the bag okay so at this point it's at a point of indecision um i would i'm happy to see it close green at 26 right so that would put it more like here see where my cursor is it's a little better than down here so that's uh that's what the charts tell you the MACD cross down in the in the negative direction is not a good thing. They came in when the market um, came back. It went from uh, something like 268 back to 270. That was a good thing for Pal Palantir. But um, I will tell you this: if it doesn't hold 26, okay, they could easily drop this down to 25 and then rally. They can do that. Anything can happen in the stock market. You know, don't um, look the fundamentals and their plans and all like that. That's good stuff. But charts don't lie. Charts are the result of what the big accounts think of the stock. What you think, what the company thinks, opinions. Opinions don't matter much, right? Back here, if you look at what happened with the MACD, see it crossed up, and then they separated. See here? Look down here where my cursor is, right? They had a negative cross, and then it leveled out. Now, here, at this level, it's in it. That MACD is not in a safe place. It needs to hold 26. If you trade this below this 20-day moving average, um, you really need to start looking at some videos. I recommend the chart guys. They have um, videos that will teach you um, technical analysis, it's called. Okay? Be safe. Be safe.